guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what NRBCs or nucleated red blood cells look like. So this is a picture of your blood under a microscope. So I zoomed in and this little guy right here is an NRBC or a nucleated red blood cell. So the importance of these cells when we find them on a peripheral blood smear is that they are immature red blood cells that are not supposed to be in your circulating blood. Having immature nucleated red blood cells in your peripheral blood tells us that there's an extreme need for our bone marrow to push out new red blood cells into our circulating blood. It means that our body isn't getting the oxygen that it needs. They are also called orthochromatic erythroblasts. They almost look like little fried eggs. So what this means is that you could have a disorder directly dealing with your red blood cells, such as sickle cell. For example, this is a peripheral blood smear of a patient with sickle cell. Along with finding NRBCs in a patient with sickle cell, you will oftentimes see other RBC morphology, such as target cells. There's one right there and there. Target cells are just red blood cells that look like little targets, hence the name. See the resemblance? One of the most important morphologies you'll see in sickle cell patients is of course sickle cells. The crescent shaped cells, that's hard to say found in this picture are sickle cells. The formal name for sickle cells is drepanocytes and the formal name for target cells is codocytes. So if you have a patient whose CPC flags on the machine for blasts, abnormal morphology, or abnormal red cell distribution, and your slide winds up looking like this, then you probably have a sickle cell patient on your hands. 